it covers both the the, you know, the PK Kids matchup, it covers the ZSS, and that's exactly what we're gonna see right here. We're starting <laughs> <laughs> that tag from WebJP, <laughs> kind of establishing how he feels about Lucas at the moment, starting things off on PS2. Yeah, starting things off on PS2, Mr. Lee already swinging, jumping immediately to center, they're both just exchanging a couple of hits here and there. Uh, nobody getting too much off of these interactions, but WebJP getting a pretty good juggle going. Yeah, honestly, this whole match is gonna be pretty interesting because Mr. E is a dominating force at ledge trapping, but that's also a majority of what ZSS thrives on. So I think this game is going to be heavily dictated by what's going on exactly right now. Whoever could walk away with the better ledge traps, not even just so much like the punish game in center stage, is going to win this set. And that's definitely like a play, of, you know, a state of play where Mr. Lee really excels at. So it's going to be up to WebJP to be able to avoid a lot of those ledge traps. But Mr. Lee doing what he does best, up being in the corner. Not going to be too whiff punish for it though. Um, and right now, just sort of waiting for WebJP to initiate There's an excellent whiff punish on the zone. Yeah, both of them really have that quick get out of dodge option, right? It's like, I don't want anything to do with throwing hands with you. I'm done with this. You got, the, you have flip kick from ZSS and you also have dolphin slash and good chase right there. Recognizing that Webb is feeling a little bit uncomfortable with that position and called it out with the down smash. Ah, oh, Webb JP had the right idea with the tech chase down smash, but unfortunately just pulling the trigger a little bit too late. Mr. E still being able to get the shield out. Um, right now, I mean, you know, unless WebGP is able to get like a solid laser hit, it's gonna be a while before he takes the stock. Yeah, outside of like calling out a reckless jump, maybe like trying to approach with a forward air and try to beat out with a trade back air, uh, Web can only really afford to do that for like another maybe 20-ish percent or so, but gets the tech in place call just covering with that side mm -hmm. beat. That cover, it covers so it many does options. Everything. Yeah, get up attack and rolling out. It, it does it does everything, especially when you're in the corner, you just play. Um, and right now, WebGP, an excellent catch on the jump, able to get a little bit of damage going, but Mr. E still fighting his way back on. Yeah, it's, it's so hard to guess what Mr. E is going to do on landing like that. If you hold shield just a few too many times, you get cooked. Goodbye. Wow, that was, that was like such an excellent call out, honestly. Like, Mr. Lee spent that whole entire game conditioning shield, was able to get a kill off of it so early too. Um, you know, sort of avoiding all of those situations where, you know, instead of having to kind of guess uh, on Zero Suit at the ledge, you know, you can just you can just get take a stop like another 30% early. And one more talk about that too. That whole thing was set up by the fact that Mr. E has landed with Nair and that falling up air prior. So it's kind of conditioned WebJB into the situation where he felt like he had to hold shield there. And he already got tech chased before. So it's like, all right, I got to be careful. And E just noticed that so quickly. For sure. And right now, able to get the down smash, but that up B is going to be able to kill uh, just about at any point on that stage. And right now, WebGP is starting to get a bit of momentum back through themselves, and they waited just for the right opportunity to get the poke, waited out the Angel Plan and Vulnerability, and fights the way back on. Yeah, and oh, here's the thing. Whenever you get to the last stock, once it's at this point, because of that exact attempt right there, you always have to assume you could lose. Because even though you're at 50, 30, it don't matter. Nair Flip Kick can steal the game away. So WebJP, even though he's so far behind a percent, still has an opportunity to just absolutely take this away from Mr. E. And I think that's why Mr. E is perfectly mm -hmm. content with backing off at the ledge to try and be a little safe. Yep, absolutely. You want to respect Flip Kick every chance that you can get. Because you, you know, you get a little bit too comfortable with the move once, you, you know, you get buried, and then you might end up losing your stock for it. So I like the way that Mr. E is slowly backing off, but WebJP is taking that space and making the most out of it. They just keep getting off the ledge consistently, and now Mr. E, quite the awful position and forced to go low. No follow up from WebJP, and he fights his way back on. Yeah, WebJP probably gonna be looking for a jump after that. He's set up a few times trying to look for the condition on the roll in or maybe a neutral get up. And I, if Mr. E does not notice that, he's probably going to get hit. This is a very scary spot though. Both of them standing right next to each other with options out of shield that can KO. Mr. E's gotta be careful. He actually waits and WebJP recognizes it and he catches him on the landing with the op smash to take game one. Uh, that's that's an excellent landing, but it was like so ambiguous for Mr. E because he wouldn't even know like with Lucina's floating floatiness, is he gonna be able to get onto the center stage? Is he gonna be able to land on the plat? And you know, WebGP was like, well, you know, I'll just use this funny move that covers all of the space that I wanted to. But this was like such an excellent setup, scared Mr. E from going low, and you know, got the punish on the air dodge. That was yep. uh, you know, Mr. E was just probably anticipating like an up air or you know, just any kind of aggressive option. Um, but WebGP just waited and punished.
Yeah, that was just pressure pipe positioning, right? You just walk underneath them. You're at KO percent, so you always have to assume that you have to be ready to react to a potential just double jump up air kill. But because of that scary situation, you're more inclined to want to air dodge because you're trying to anticipate more so than react in your when you're at KO percent like that. Also, just to point out, I see ZSS down tilt so little that I forgot what it actually looked like when he ran up and hit below the ledge. Yeah. I forgot that was even an option. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a move that you even see connect quite often, right? Because in the position that she would do that, you'd like either see an F tilt or a jab maybe. Down tilt is like not the move that you'd expect Zeus to go for, but I guess, um, you know, it's able to hit onto the ledge. It did if we web JP exactly what he wanted, right? He wanted to be able to pop up Miss Dewey, and now game two gonna be going to Smashville. Why do you think Mr. E picked this stage? I think uh, it has to do else. with the fact that as the match progressed, Mr. E was having a bit harder time keeping uh, web controlled into a confined space, which is not really working out for him right now because he's getting bopped. But uh, he, I think he wants to control the, he wants to keep web with, within a specific range, and it's a lot easier to do so on a smaller stage. The only thing, the thing is, <laughs> that game plan only matters if you actually get the hit, because Webb is not having any bit of it. 100%. Right now, Webb is just sort of playing in a range where he's forcing Mr. E to whiff, really making the most out of, like, these wave bounce paralyzers, um, and just able to space themselves around Mr. E. Mr. E is whiffing so much, not able to get, like, a good solid read on WebGP's movement. Yeah, which is kind of nuts because that's a majority of Lucina's kit. She just wants to like slightly react, hit you once, hit you twice, back off, and then reset on bad defensive habits. And when you're being as evasive as Webb is right now, that just removes a majority of the, uh, the kit. So once Lucina's forced to actually box with ZSS, that's when things become trouble because ZSS could just retreat and play campy with things like that F tilt, the frame one jab, or any of the laser shots. For sure, you know, just like having a character with like some of the best mobility in the game, just so much like natural stats and having such huge dish joints and quick buttons, uh, she'll be able to play evasively and maneuver around the opponent so much. Mr. E a little bit too scared to go for the two frame though, not able to find anything and right now just WebGP is controlling the stage so much, but grounded down it into the upper. Wow, that's an excellent confirm. Yeah, finally catching it. Well, taking 105% in exchange is very difficult to deal with, though. Uh, Lucina has KO power, but it's kind of gone now because it got deleted immediately. 0% uh, on check two. And another thing just to notice that as this uh, set has progressed, Webb has completely refused to be ledge trapped by Mr. E. That was one of the things I pointed out at the very start. And the fact that it's not working, look how different this match has been going since. The part of the game that, like, once again, Mr. E just excels in so much, right? And suddenly, by taking away, uh, taking that away from him, you know, he's not going to be putting on as much damage. He's going to be struggling to take out these stocks a little bit more. Sets up the tech chase, had an excellent way. WebJP had the good idea, uh, anticipating that get up attack, but no punish. There we go, goes and catches him on the air to air. He's forced to go low. What is he going to do about it? Rising with the fair. He hasn't been as aggressive off the ledge of late just because you try to respect when you're behind the percent. But like, look at Web. Like, I completely am content with the way that Web is playing around it too, uh, right now, too. To retreat with the Zares, don't overcommit because all you're going to do is just get caught on shield like that and give Mystery a chance back in the match. Yeah, WebGP definitely got a little bit too antsy with the buttons like Mr. E. You know, that was an excellent bait, you know, just so we'd have held the shield. Um, in a lot of positions, you know, Zeus suits might not be going for grab as nearly as much because to them, you know, it's it's uh, much more of a commitment. And right now, just sort of really just forcing Mr. E into the corner, able to find his opening, finds his way back in, and catches the whiff. I love these empty hops for Mr. E right now because he's doing it in such a safe way and positioning himself to be able to punish WebGP. Same thing as we said in the last set, positional pressure. Just keeping yourself within a range that keeps somebody not content to want to move towards you is just a great way to get somebody to do something stupid. You get them to roll in, you get them to misbehave when they didn't need to. And, oh, he's going deep, trying to look for the potential uh, get up. He's not going to do anything about it, though. Not feeling comfortable in that ledge trap and backing off. And honestly, this match is pretty even right now because, oh like you said before, whip grabs are a bad thing, but with that side B, still not going to get the KO, though. Yeah, no, not quite yet, but the next hit is going to be <gasps> able to do it. Zeus, who jabbing from behind, who, who shoulders, I guess, still packing a bit of a punch themselves. Uh, right there, WebJP backs off a little bit, anticipating an out-of-shield option from Mr. Lee, not finding it. On uh, Right now, just really fishing through one of these, like, you know, beautiful uh, side beasts, but <gasps> no. Oh, oh my God. not dead yet. That was a great job, though, because he hasn't used utilized that uh, Dancing Blade really at all, just kind of, like, fading away, make it look like nothing was going to happen. Still... 
Getting close though, tries to go. Was he gonna look for it for the Nair? No, he tries to cover the flip kick up, but just out of position. And uh, that falls out of it, not space. <laughs> and then just hands it off with a kill through. Oh, wow. Yeah, you you can't be a little bit too far back, you know, and you just you just end up popping out of it. That is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Do you remember a time where that move carried the hell out of all Lucinas <laughs> in, in March? It was so good. It just did everything. But the fact that it was just slightly out of position put him into yeah. a punishable that allowed him to get killed great job from webjp also uh, like holding away on that and not holding in because that would have definitely assisted it a bit more uh mm -hmm. and yep so that's two games up for web it is best of five though so it's not over yet yeah and honestly mr lee um is a kid as a player that you know is definitely prone to making comeback so it's it, it's it's not a good idea to count him out quite yet uh, and he started to really catch on to a lot of WebJP's, you know, tendency to flip kick back onto the stage. I really like that towards the end, how he positioned himself on the Smashville platform and shielding. I would like to see a little bit more of that. It seems like he's so close to be able to find the right spacing uh, to punish that. Yeah, if there's two characters like in this game, or, or I have a list of just don't ever believe the game is over. These two are definitely on it because you have the cheating ability to break a shield, kill super early, forward smash still is super strong. And then of course you have ZSS who could just take stocks away at any time. It doesn't matter, it just depends on how deep they feel like going for an edge guard. So the fact that these two have been keeping it so close is no surprise whatsoever. You see Webb trying to just like, bait the idea he was gonna go for something, probably try to get a buffered option out of Mr. E as he came back, but he did not bite. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, but right now Mr. E just sort of flinging WebJP back off stage, tries to go for the preemptive neutral to catch a jump in, but again, not spaced in such a way that it would cover those options that he's looking for. But what a trade in for the first time and you know, this entire set, we've seen Mr. E with lead. Yeah, smart trade right there. If you're, you're in center stage. The most you're taking at that position is maybe a down smash read if they try to go for it or a, just like forward or out of shield. That's usually where you're going to see. Back air beats that every time. Now, can Mr. E actually hold this lead? Because there's been multiple times where Mr. E has looked kind of comfortable with a positional like lead, even though it's a 125. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really been able to establish that confidence in the lead though. He hasn't really made Webb fear him much, uh, being down these two games. For sure, and right now WebJP is just playing completely untouchable, not taking too much hits outside of just a couple of one-offs, but now Mr. Lee finally, you know, once again taking control of the stage, able to limit WebJP's options and land a couple of hits. I really like some of these adaptations that Mr. Lee is making out of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, you know, I really like some of his delays. I like some of the ways that he's using Dancing Blade out of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well, because it's catching a lot of spot dodges from Web. You know, I also want to have a mini game. I want to see if there's anybody in the world who could possibly react to the DI of that up throw online. Because it's already hard enough to react to on when it's coming mm -hmm. to kill you anyways. So, like, I was just looking at Mr. E. That's the second time he went pretty much directly up. It's so hard. That just makes that kill option so much more viable. Looking for the Nair that probably would have taken a stock up off. But luckily for Mr. E, it was just mistimed. All right, now, just like that, WebGP was able to take that percent deficit and completely eliminated, bringing the game back all the way to even. All right, now, how are they going to get back onto the stage? I love these recovery mix-ups. Mr. E so scared, sitting in shield. Why, why, did, why does she have a wall jump? Why? Uh, I, it, <laughs> somebody in the world is making people believe this character sucks. <laughs> but you know what? This character's got everything. And also, the up out of shield, pretty good option. Not when somebody doesn't move, though, but it's still good right there. Not going to... Never mind, it is gonna KO. Yep. <laughs> and Mr. E looking at his last possible stock in the tournament. Wow, and like every single time that Mr. E does get a lead through themselves, it just ends up being eliminated so quickly. I love the timing mix up from WebJP. This is the first time that they've really hung on to ledge so long and they're forcing Mr. E just to adapt, but right now his positioning is so solid, just catching Ooh. all of WebJP's whiffed buttons. Oh, I was gonna say, you could kind of feel it. You could feel the difference in Mr. E. He's going for clutch. He's, he's like, you could see he's waiting. He's behaving much less erratically. He's looking for the defensive choices out of Webb more so. And that's forcing Webb into a spot where he's holding shield more and he's trying to jump in spots where he shouldn't. Now, he got out of there, but can he prevent no, the game from going wow. to an end? He absolutely is it. You saw the confidence difference in Mr. E in that last few seconds, and that made all the difference in that match.
Yeah, absolutely. Like, Mr. Liu is just able to completely tighten up the ledge trapping that last stock. I don't know what kind of a switch that he flipped in himself, but he caught every single goal from WebGP, caught every single preemptive defensive option that, you know, he, he made himself into a wall. He did what, you know, he does best, and that's just keep people off stage, keep people at ledge, keep them in the corner until he finds that golden confirmed to be able to take the stock. So finally, towards the end, Mr. Lee was able to find the means to execute his game plan. So now the question is, will he be able to do it? Uh, going forward. Oh, Pink Cage, I got the answer for you. Ready for this? You say a character sucks for interaction farming. There you go. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely something that I have been saying for years. If Mr. E can just somehow get a hold of crew battle Mr. E at all times, this man would be absolutely insane. It, you could see it occasionally with that, with the clutchness. You could see, like, that it just kind of clicks. It's like, you know what? My character is really good at one hit interactions. They're forced to try and KO me and get this percent back. Therefore, if I keep it simple, I could find my openings yep. like that and take out the game. He slowed down his play. He waited. He pressured with his positioning. He wasn't swinging too much preemptively. And then as a result, he was able to like, you know, notice like, oh wow, WebGP is going to press this at that point, you know, and, and got a whole lot of wave punishes. So that's exactly what you have to be doing. Um, and then going into the next game, um, I won't be surprised if we do see the stage switch here. Um, yeah, they're gonna be going right back to PS2. You know, why not? WebJP looked so confident here in game one. Uh, definitely favored. Yeah, that's where that counter pick advantage comes in. The fact that Webb was up those few games, now Webb has wider stages to work with. Not that those last matches necessarily were bad, but I think Webb understands the importance of, okay, if Mr. E is starting to play and behave this way, I need more room to reset and just completely stop him from chasing me. That way I can cheat, kind of like I almost tried right there. But you could also just kind of position yourself in much safer distances away from Lucina. Damn, WebJP really just tried to plug in his game shark, but it failed to boot. That is so close, he was almost able to take a stock at like 50% from setting a stage. It's wild how Zigosu could just do that, you know, at, at any moment that she so pleases. But gonna be missing two techs in a go, and this is a huge opening for Mr. E. Catches that whiffed up B, that is huge. That is the kind of early dominance and lead that you need to establish, because now he has all the momentum that he could ask for. And I was just about to say how I was very happy with the fact that Webb didn't budge on that the tech chase because that whole setup is pretty much reliant on somebody being a little bit too antsy with their defensive options and then decides to go for the up B, which cost them. Now, Mr. E was getting close to lap and percent and then goes for another oh one and no. that's going to cost them again. Twice, back to back. And again, it's not as though WebJP had the gong idea. That third time, third time's the trial, baby. Finally is able to take the stock, but... Man, that's just like really unfortunate that they did not account for all of Lucina's goal distance. They just had to go literally pixels farther, and this game would have looked completely different, honestly. Yeah. Now, it's still funny to me that because of how many times I've seen people burn by ZSS and Webs as well, that I still look at this match as relatively even. Just because of the fact that Webb, all he needs is a couple openings like so, still an early edge guard, uh, not even just flare flip kick, just catch a bad jump out of Mr. E, and this game is still extremely doable. Mm -hmm. And then on WebGP, I really like the way that they're mixing up the movement again. Mr. E just keeps on teching out, and WebGP just has no punish for it. Uh, each time, they're like a little bit reluctant after losing two stocks that way. Um, but right now, I love the way that they're spacing F-Tilt and catching a lot of Mr. E's jumps, but what a mix-up. Yeah, good job with that counter. Finally pulling it out pretty much at the end. And then preemptively going for an aggressive up B once again. Wow. That's one of I think that was one of those situations where, okay, I'm putting pressure on them at ledge. I'm banking on the fact that they're probably going to jump. I can't afford to go for a th uh, throw here because if he spot dodges it, I'm probably going to die and banked it all on that up B jump read. And now we are going to game number five. Yeah, for sure. I love that patience at, in the corner because Mr. E is like, you know what? The worst thing that happens here is I maybe get grabbed, right? Mm -hmm. um, so just sitting in shield sometimes is going to be like, you know, the best thing that you can do for yourself. Uh, just mixing up your timing, forcing your opponent to cover options that you're not even going for. But wow, that entire second game is just like a huge call out. Like, hey, uh, you know, you got to slow this down because, wow, WebJP is pressing a lot of these buttons way too early and died three times for the same width. Yeah, and that's both a confidence maneuver and a confidence loss for b uh, both of these players. Mr. E conditionally just made it known, I am not going to get hit by these upbeats at the ledge. 
And for Webb, that's a KO option gone. So now Webb has to second guess himself every time he goes for that the ledge. He has to regain that ledge trap confidence because now that it's been flipped, where I was talking about how Mr. E was not getting ledge trap before, now Mr. E wow. is starting to do it and already almost getting the KO. He's gonna look for probably a jump over the ledge. Yes, he was. He was looking for that back here, but Webb waited. That option coverage was so good. It doesn't matter that he wasn't able to take the stock because he just got the momentum for himself. But now he's just. He has everything that he could possibly want. And down tilt is such an excellent way to call out, you know, Zigosu dropping down from the ledge. Uh, wow, Mr. Lee's up B, of course. He's going to be able to land a whole lot safer and quicker than uh, if WebJP were to with his. Yeah, Mr. E has at least a little bit more window opportunity to utilize Dolphin Slash as not only a KO option, but just as a whiff breaker. And if he takes a punish, it's not it's, he's not going to die just yet unless he's near the ledge. So he, now because you're web, you got to be careful if you're acting on shield. Look at that. He was waiting because he's afraid if he tries to hit something, he might get Dolphin Slashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. E, once again, just opting for the forward throw. I'm just like curious when up throw will actually start killing. What a, what a butchered move. Honestly, but yeah. JP just really <laughs> taking advantage of this and shielding up every opportunity that they can. Yeah, it's kind of crazy the fact that like that what used to be a, a half decent salt like you know grab mix up KO option. Now you have to crawl your way all the way up to this percent. You lost, uh, you lost dancing blade. You lost up throw, but you did not lose that fair, and that fair is gonna take that first stock. For sure, and right now WebJP is just looking for any way to be able to land a, a hit on Mr. E, but he's just sitting on this platform so patiently, just waiting for an overextension, waiting for his own window of opportunity, and he has no incentive to be the one taking risks, to be the one approaching right now. He has a huge lead for himself. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to need to see Web, like, real, like, it's kind of sauce, Mr. E. Like, that's the best way I could put it. Sometimes you just got to have that really dominant stock just to rip somebody's confidence away from them. Like, like, Mr. E is really behaving in a way that's just, I'm keeping my risk at minimum, but I can still push the initiative at any time. There you go. Finally baits him into a roll away, but the still not going to die just yet. That's yeah, actually pretty unfortunate for, for Mr. E. Yeah, he just needs to be a little bit closer to the edge of the stage then. But GP, a little bit too slow to be able to connect the down smash, able to just find all of these follow-ups, catches WebJP just pressing buttons every single time that he lands. And once again, Mr. E is just sitting there shield distance, always waiting for WebJP to be able to go in. But a good catch on that whiff once again. Um, wow, like WebJP just really needs to get something started here. Yeah, this is that sauce I was talking about. This is that stock where you must establish now that you're still in this game. You plan to walk away with this W and get just get a, a near zero to death. You, you just you have to rip all of this away from Mr. E. It's not happening so far. Mr. E still taking no percent. He's going to look for... Oh, I actually decided just to wait. Just, I, I expected up. another roll, but he did not go for it. That was, that was like a, such a good wait, you know, Dancing Blade on Shield, you know, it's going to be like a little bit difficult to react to some of the hits sometimes. You can bait out a preemptive defensive option, you could be positioned to be able to punish it. The next hit should be able to do it. Mr. Lee, unfortunately, a little bit too slow with the nail, but a great catch on that down out on Shield. Last time, every time Mr. Lee was getting hit by down out on Shield, he was dropping it a little bit too soon, was getting hit by the impact hitbox, so I love the adaptation. That's a scary, like, I, you know, position right there, too, because most of the time you're at KO percent. So the first assumption you're thinking for your opponent, oh, they're going to assume I'm going to jump or they're, I'm going to try flip, uh, flip kick away. And Webb banked in on that down air. And now he's getting caught consistently on landings, too. That forward air is going to get him some type of position in center stage. But every single trade, every single lost interaction is that much closer to defeat right now. And Mr. E's got to be feeling good about that. Mm, I have to say, I just really appreciate just like how minimalistic some of Mr. E's play is right now. Just like, you know, not going through any insane options, just waiting and shield, waiting and shield, and WebGP is pressing a whole lot and getting punished for it so much that nearly is not going to be able to take it quite yet. Mr. E forces a recovery option, not able to get a follow-up off of it quite yet, and this hold. is the kill. This is hold. doable. Hold, hold, It is 115 to 0%. It is KO percent all day for Mr. E. But it is also still a last stock situation versus ESS. So Mr. E must behave oh in a way that's not erratic because this could easily well, GP go to looking for it. He's looking for it. I see those notes coming out. I, I see them. He wants it. And honestly, I would want it too if I could take a stock at any percent that I pleased. Um, but the question is, how do you get off of ledge against Mr. E? Mr. E was positioned for the goal in, but no punish on it quite yet. And now this is... 
Oh man. Oh buddy. Oh. I actually really like Mr. E's ideas right now. He is very much looking for just trades. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna let you set me up. I'm not gonna let you put me out of position. I'm gonna preemptively call out an air to air one of my out of shield aerials and make it so either A, you die, or B, you don't hit me. However, he's been unable to hit him so far. Webb barely walking away from getting shield poked by that nair. He's that's why he's putting out these airs right now to try and make sure he doesn't get put into shield pressure again. Mr. E's gone for jump reads a few times now, but he doesn't it's get it. I love the mix-up, but no, that's going to be the up tilt to still scoop Zeus in the air. An excellent catch on the jump. As soon as I saw WebJP connect that Zeus from Legend, I was like, oh, this is it. They got they got a couple of big follow-ups, but unfortunately, they're a little bit too late to be able to catch Mr. E's missed tech on the platform. Wow, this getup attack that, uh, you know, that was like the interaction before it was so scary. But yeah, um, they didn't time the up. I love that idea to fade back down, understanding that, you know what, I don't want to risk hitting a shield here. Tries to go through the landing, but wow, Mr. Lee was already on top of it, was able to catch it. That was, that was so close, right? You know, Just a little that, bit more time. It's actually WP insane how, it's actually insane how important that lead situation, I mean, that platform situation was. Because if Webb actually mixed Mr. E up there and got a falling up air to reset to another up air, maybe gets a boost kick off the top or just sends Mr. E so far off the stage that now E has to guess on a ledge get up because he's probably like maybe 80 ish percent. So a back air could be able to kill. Like that whole miss pretty much took the game away, mm -hmm. but still. You could see how much respect Mr. E had to give Webb at that point because we all know we've seen it a thousand times before. If you try to get a little bit too, you try to push too hard against the ZSS at the end, then you're wondering why you threw your Wii, excuse me, not your Wii, freaking switch across the room. I'm like way past. You know why I'm on the Wii? It's because Nintendo hasn't updated their online in 18 years. That's why. But, you know, it's one of those things where you throw it across the room because you're angry that you lost after giving up that lead.